Blast Pro Series is the CSGO event for entertainment and big prize pools. But that doesn't mean anything. CSGO is CSGO and with it comes all the highlights. So we compiled the very best place from the LA event just for you. Welcome to your FPS Place of the Week. Opening and low on help is Nico up there and he's going to be going oh. down out of bullets and the clock instead and he's still going to win the fight. Taking down Guardian, he has a chance for a reload. Olof Meister on the other side in lobby, Elige. He knows that Oliver's the ramp player, and I think that's why he's checking this position. Got to be slow, making no noise at all, getting down. And if he can get the bomb plant here, there is so much trouble for Olof. There's One so thing, Olof has no smoke, and Elish has a Molotov. That in itself could definitely cause some trouble. And Olof not shy about making noise. It's all on this. Yeah, he's just running for it. He knows he has to try and catch him before Elish gets too far away. He's behind the silo up there. He's going to make a jump almost down. And the Molotov, that's the problem though, isn't it? What do you do? You can't really get out. At least he has a kit, but this is already buying so much time. And Elish is playing this so smartly. He has this surely. There is no way. And that's going to be 16. He's got a pop flash set up. He's just waiting for Taco to call it out. He's given that up though, and actually it might be late. Here's the pop flash. Taco gonna turn, he's gonna swing out. It's completely blind. He even realized it until the shots were fired. Taco, as you mentioned, really tough first half. And I think what, this is now six and the opening two rounds for MIBR here on CT side. Yeah, he's really making up for it, isn't he? That flashbang was so good. It actually just, you know, didn't even matter that he took two seconds to find out. Waiting for it. Timing is everything. He's going. Oh! It can't be real. Didn't see anybody landing the triple right to the smoke. I've never seen anything like it. And now, at least they're going to get the bomb plant. But FaZe are being robbed once again. Naf, he's still in play in this round. On the other side is Rain, and he wants more. Naf, have you no mercy? He's going to pick up an ace in the round. Decide to go back instead. He actually still goes down. Olofmeister finding him. And now Elige coming by the vent. There's a Molotov to force him out. And he comes jumping right out to get the kill. Continues to spray. That's an amazing double kill. And still he's going to win the round. I can't believe Elige managed to control that. The majority of the big one is the people come out of apartments. Turned around for the grenade. Rain not ready to get back in time. It's Olaf Meister instead. Big double and the bomb is down right in front. And yeah, this is the weakness. They know it as well. That's going to be dangerous. But Olaf Meister on point with the defense. Taking a triple. And that might have been enough. It's certainly given them a big advantage. Oh, Naf's going to come right through this. He doesn't care whatsoever. He wanted to speed things up. Alige looks away. That's the peak from Guardian. But again, even in a loss, this can be so expensive. FaZe must keep these three players alive. Nice job from Neo on the flank. More smoke walls coming out. Actually, that Molotov might have created a gap, and not the gap he wanted. Oh, it is yeah. the gap Rain wanted. Yeah, that's a nice headshot. Coming right through, and actually just poking Nitro's eye out with that M4, and it's gonna be a follow-up. Rain, tired of losing rounds, gonna take matters into his own hands, and finds a beautiful triple. Banana actually just pushed with the smoke. Not gonna find anyone up there. Not yet anyway. Oh, wow. <laughs> even even he's surprised. What did God name's going on? Even he just like shook his head and is like, what have I just done? Their aggressive setups with their, their rifles are totally fine. Alicia's is always delivering. And there is a shot that just runs right into him. Oh my God. No way that just happened. Cold Zero, eat your heart out. Oh, he's got a third. Nitro. Slamming down the gauntlet. And Dude! Ridiculous. I, I've never seen a no scope jumping from that far away in a pro match. John Nitro, but it's going to be a liege. The M4, he turns from the flashbang, and it's just missed time. Really unfortunate, but Stewie, oh. he's still alive. Nath gets one, and there's the double up. Three kills for Stewie. And Nico just kind of left holding the pieces, scratching his head. After the bomb goes down, that means Stewie and Twist are still alive. And that in itself is a bit scary. Twist hiding there in yellow right next to them. He's the top fragger right now at 17 kills. So they could take nothing for granted. Stewie hiding inside of the smoke. That is where he lives most of the time. Twist will pick up one more kill. Goes for another one, turning around, and he's ready for it. Taking every single one down and landing himself at 20 kills. Outrageous once again. And again, ladder position is pretty much a given. 
they demand it and they take it. But look at the time. There are two players on the B-bomb side. There's 15 seconds to plant the bomb, and that might be the saving grace for Cloud9 to be pushing all over the map. There's Tens with the Deagle once again. He needs to stay alive. He's got to buy time for his team. Street's cutting off the rotation. There's another one from Tens. Can he get the last one? It's time he's won the run of all these Deagle shots. The bomb can't be planted, and that's a much needed last round for Cloud9. Can Team Liquid continue the streak, or does the new C9 roster have the potential to take over NA? Drop a comment down below and let me know. If you want more esports content, make sure to tune in to Inside Esports every weekday at 8 p.m. EST, where we cover the latest and greatest events in all of esports. Or you can check us out on all our socials at Squad State. See you next time.